Good morning students of class 9. I welcome you all in the English class once again. Today we will study lesson 5 the happy prince from the book moments. The happy prince is written by uh, Oscar Wilde. Now see the title the happy prince. So as the title suggest uh, that the the story is about the prince and when this prince was alive he was very happy and uh, he lived in the palace and there were Uh, there was happiness all around the palace now once this prince died his huge statue has been erected on the pedestal and from that spot the prince could see the entire city and at that time he saw the miseries of the people so in this chapter we will study the story of this prince let's begin high above the city on a tall column stood the statue of the happy prince he was gilded all over with thin leaves of fine gold For eyes, he had two bright sapphires, and a large red ruby glowed on his sword hilt. Her gilded means to cover, covered with something, coating of something. Sapphires and ruby. Sapphire is blue in color, very precious stone, and ruby is also very precious stone. It is red in color. And uh, sword hilt. Hilt is a, a handle of the sword. this is a sword picture of a sword and the handle this handle is the hilt and here ruby is uh, still in this hilt so we will see the description this prince is called happy prince because uh, when we uh, when he was alive he was always remained very happy and when he died a huge statue of this prince has been erected on the center of the city on the center uh, in the center of the city on a pedestal this is the uh, pedestal uh, top the uh, top bottom uh, top uh, top on the top of something so uh, the statue of the happy prince is covered with thin layers of gold instead of the eyeballs there were two bright sapphires as i told you earlier it is a very precious stone and blue in color had been put on his eyes and in the hilt of his sword sword uh, uh, in the hilt of i earlier i tell you this hilt is the handle of something handle of a dagger knife or the sword a ruby was uh, placed there in the hilt so this is the description of the statue one night uh, there flew over the city a little swallow his friends had gone away to egypt 6 weeks before but he had stayed behind then he decided to go to egypt to All day long he flew, and at night time he arrived at the city. Where shall I put up? He said. I hope the town has made preparations. Uh, now, uh, see very carefully. The writer used. Uh, writer is referring to the swallow as he and his again and again. His friends. He had. He decided. Although the bird is not a human being, still the writer is referring to it as he and his. so he says that all his friends of this swallow had flown away this is the picture of a, a swallow so all of his uh, friends uh, had flown away to egypt 6 weeks before but this uh, swallow remained there at that place now this bird now this bird decided to move from that place now should not uh, should uh, go to egypt to his friends so he is going to egypt Egypt is in is in Africa, as you all must know about this. Uh, is a huge country, and the River Nile, which is said to be the longest river in the world, flows through Egypt. Now come to the lesson. The bird swallow kept on flying on his way to Egypt, and at night he reached the city, the city of the happy prince. Now the bird wanted to st stay somewhere for the night, so the bird say, "I hope this town has made preparation." uh means uh i hope this city has made preparations for my stay obviously the bird does not mean what the bird is saying maybe the bird is uh, being humorous then he saw the statue on the ta uh, tall column i will put up there he cried it is a fine position with a plenty of fresh air so he alighted just between the feet of the happy prince so the bird thought this is the good place for me to spend the night there is a shelter also and there is a lot uh, there is lots of fresh air so the bird came and alighted means descended so the bird stopped and 
uh, it landed in between the feet of the uh, the between the feet of the happy prince uh, i have a golden bedroom he said softly to himself as he looked around and he prepared to go to sleep but just as he was putting his head under his wing a large drop of water fell on him what a curious thing he cried there is not a single cloud in the sky the stars are quite clear and bright and yet it is raining curious means something strange uh, now this bird sat between the f- uh, feet of the happy prince uh, by uh, happy um, as he uh, as we read in the beginning the statue was covered with gold so the bird thought that the bird has been the golden bedroom and uh, as he was about to sleep a large a large drop of water fell on him it was very strange for him as there was no rain so uh, from where this drop of water has come because uh, it was a starry night and no single cloud has been there in the sky then from where that drop of water has come then another drop fell what is the use of a statue if it cannot keep the rain off he said i must look for a good chimney pot and he determined to fly away but before he had opened his wings a third drop fell and he looked up and saw oh what did he see now the swallow thought this not the right place to stay here as it is not able to protect me from rain so he thought it's better to get shelter in the chimney pot but what had happened as he opened his wings to fly third drop of water fell on him and when he looked up to see from where these drops came uh, uh, see ah uh, what did he see let's read further the eyes of the happy prince were filled with tears and tears were running down his golden cheeks his face was so beautiful in the moonlight that the little swallow was filled with pity who are you he said i am the happy prince now a strange thing happened as the swallow looked up he saw the eyes of happy prince were filled with tears and there uh, and the water drops are uh, actually the tears which were rolling down from his golden cheeks the face of happy prince was looking so beautiful in moonlight and when he saw him weeping or crying uh, the hurt the swallow's uh, hurt was filled with pity and asked him who are you and the statue answered i am happy prince why are you weeping then asked the swallow you have quite uh, drenched me drenched mean me, drenched means to make someone wet when i was alive and had a human heart answered the statue i did not know what tears were for i lived in the palace where sorrow is not allowed to enter my courtiers called me the happy prince and happy indeed i was so i lived and so i died and now that i am dead they have set me up here so high that i can see the ugliness and all the misery of my city and though my heart is made of lead yet i cannot choose but weep what is he not solid gold said the swallow to himself he was too polite to make any personal remarks now see uh, then swallow asked him if you are a happy prince then why are you weeping swallow asked happy prince that you made me wet with your tears now uh in answer to this happy prince telling his story to swallow happy uh, princess when he was alive we discussed earlier this uh, he had a human heart he did not know about the tears sorrow and misery because he lived in the palace where sorrow is not allowed to enter means there was uh, just happiness around him and all the courtiers called him happy prince because uh, he remained happy all the time and this is the way how he lived and died now further happy prince says when he had a human heart he never cried and now when i am dead and uh, set here so high as a statue from where i can see the whole city the miseries and the ugliness of the city uh, although i have a lead heart now lead here refers to the metal means metallic heart with no feeling and emotions even then it gets 
hurt hurt and starts crying by seeing the miseries of the city again swallow is creating a humor uh, happy prince is telling him his sad story to swallow and what swallow is thinking uh, what is his not solid gold he is surprised because he thought that uh, his outer body is totally covered with gold but happy prince is saying that his uh, heart is made up of lead not of gold so swallow has uh, noticed that statue is sad and crying so he did not did not did not give any personal remarks far away continued the statue in a low musical voice far away in a little street there is a poor house one of the window is open and through it i can see a woman seated at a table her face is thin and worn worn and she has coarse red hands all pricked by needle for she is a seamstress she is embroidering flowers on a satin gown for the loveliest of the queen's maids for honor to wear the next court ball in a bed in the corner of the room her little baby is lying ill he has a fever and is asking his mother to give him oranges his father his mother was nothing to give him but river water so he is crying swallow swallow little swallow will you not uh, bring her the ruby out of my sword hilt my feet are fastened to this pedestal and i cannot move now uh in this passage statue continue his story see this coarse means rough worn means uh, tired and uh, seamstress seamstress is a woman who makes a living by sewing sewing stitching pedestal is a raised platform this is the raised platform and this is called pedestal and sword hilt sword hilt i told you earlier here this is the hilt this is a sword and this is the hilt so this is called sword hilt and fastened means fixed fastened means fixed so uh he says uh, happy prince says that uh, a musical voice was uh, he is listening the musical voice far away in a little street there is a house of a poor woman windows are open when he is telling about the story of this uh, lady he happy prince says the windows are open and from the open window i can see that she is seated on a table her face is thin maybe some picture is giving yes just see this picture uh i can uh, see that she is seated on a table her face is thin and tired and her hands are very rough and uh, as red as it is pricked by the needle you know when we are doing needle work uh, when needles uh, hurts our hands or um, give us pain so uh, the redness of that that is called the pricked so uh the as it pricked by the needles and thin woman is a seamstress i t- told you who are seamstress St- uh, stitching uh, a lady who make a living by sewing stitching the this statue says that uh, the lady is embroidering flowers on a satin gown for the loveliest of the queen's maid uh queens maid uh, the honor maids of honor mean the maids who walk along with the queen and this gown will be worn by uh, the uh, worn by them at the next court ball statue says further that in the corner of the same room where that lady is uh, sewing her little uh, baby is lying ill he was uh, he has fever and uh, asked his mother for oranges but as his mother is very poor she has nothing to give him except river water so that little boy is crying so the statue of happy prince request swello to take out precious ruby from sword hilt means from the handle and give away that ruby to the poor woman my uh, for the prince is that my feet are fixed from the pedestal to the pedestal and i can't move so you do this favor for me next uh, i am waited for uh, in egypt said the swallow my friends are flying up and down the nile and talking to the large lotus flowers soon they will go to sleep 
The prince asked the swallow to stay with him for one night and be his messenger. The boy is so thirsty and the mother so sad, he said. I don't think I like boys, answered the swallow. I want to go to Egypt. But the happy prince uh, looked so sad that the little swallow was sorry. It is very cold here, he said. But he agreed to stay with him for one night and he and be his messenger. Thank you, little swallow, said the prince. Next, uh, the swallow replies that my friends are in Egypt. Uh, earlier, uh, prince requested swallow to help uh, happy prince in taking out the ruby from his hilt and uh, give uh, away to that lady. So, uh, in reply, swallow said ki uh, my friends are in Egypt and they are flying over the Nile River and talking to the uh, big lotus flower grew there and soon all my friends fall asleep and I have to reach to them. Now happy prin prince again requested birds fellow uh, stay one night with me and become my messenger and please hand over this precious ruby to that poor lady uh, because she is very poor and her boy is ill and thirsty. Again, Swallow opposed the prince that he wanted to go to Egypt and I don't like boys. The prince was looking so sad that Swallow felt sorry for him and said, It is very cold here, but even then I will stay one more night with you and I will do your work. At this, happy prince uh, thanks the Swallow. Mm, the Swallow picked out the great ruby from the prince's sword and flew away with it in his beak over the roofs of the town. He passed by the cathedral tower where the white marble angels were sculptured. He passed by the palace and heard the sound of dancing. A beautiful girl came out on the balcony with her lover. I hope my dress will be ready in time for the state ball, she said. I have ordered flowers to be embroidered on it, but the seamstress are so lazy. Here, the that this lady is talking about the same seam, this seamstress, whose uh, boy is lying ill. So, uh, and cathedral uh, means the uh, church, tower of the church. Finally, Swallow picked out ruby from the handle of the um, sword and took the ruby in his beak and flew over to the town. Now when the swallow on his way to the poor lady's house, it passed the cathedral tower uh, where white marble angels were sculpted. As we uh, see some tower uh, church, picture of a church, a tower is there where crosses and he says that uh, pictures of angels are sculpted on the tower. And past that palace also where he heard the dancing. As the swallow crossed the palace, a girl came into the balcony with her lover. Maybe she is a maid of honor. And said, I hope the gown I have given to seamstress may come on time because that seamstress is very lazy. She is talking about the same gown which the poor lady is embroidered in her cottage. He passed over the river and saw the latins hanging on the masts. Mast is a piece of cloth uh, with the help of uh, sheep sails. Uh, as we see this, the picture of uh, the ship. And this is the, here we see the uh, piece of cloth. This piece of cloth is called masts. So uh, at last he came to the uh, poor woman's house and looked in. The boy was tossing uh, feverishly on his bed and the mother had fallen asleep. She was so tired. In he uh, hopped and laid the great ruby on the table beside the woman's th thimble. Uh, this is thimble. Then he flew gently round the bed, fanning the boy's forehead with his wings. How cool I feel, said the boy. I must be getting better. And he sank into a, a delicious slumber. So, uh, tossing means turning round and round. When we uh, lie down on a bed, we turn our faces. That is called tossing. Thimble. Thimble uh, is a uh, piece of, uh, you, you, uh, you can say a metal or a uh, plastic, which we wear to uh, protect our finger from the uh, tip of the uh, needle. 
so this is the thimble and uh, see what uh, the swallow uh, says what the writer says in the story uh, next in this paragraph swallow crossed rivers also he saw lanterns hanging over the sail uh, finally the swallow reached to the lady's house and swallow saw the boy was turning on the bed due to fever and his mother uh, fall to asleep as he was very tired swallow uh, hopped into the house and kept the ruby near the thimble then the swallow went near the boy and fanning the boy's forehead with his wings like this he fanning his forehead a uh, boy felt cool and sank into sleep here sank sank means to drown and uh, sank doesn't mean uh, drown in a river or somewhere else here drown into a sleep so uh, drown into a slumber here means sleep so this section of swallow shows that his heart is full of kindness that's why he is working for happy prince and uh looked after the boy then the swallow flew back to the happy prince and told him uh, what he had done it is curious he remarked but i feel quite warm now although it is so cold that is because you have done a good action said the prince and the little swallow began to think um, and then fell asleep thinking always made him sleepy now Uh, swallow came back to happy prince and told him what he had done here bird says it is very strange that i feel warm although it is very cold so the prince says you are the uh, you are feeling warm because you have done something good and after that he fall asleep that's all for today in next video we will continue our chapter thank you students